welcome Lori Amos from France. She's a product specialist with Olympus Scientific Solutions for XRF and XRD products. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. I understand that you're involved in X-ray in uh, the X-ray diffraction equipment. And in our social media channels, we get a lot of questions about XRF and XRD. Can you tell me what the difference between XRF and XRD is? Sure. So, for example, X-ray fluorescence will tell you about uh, the elemental composition. For instance, uh, how much ion you would have in a sample. Whereas X-ray diffraction will tell you which crystalline form your ion is in. So, for instance, if it's a pure metallic ion or if it's a, an oxidized form of ion such as magnetite or hematite. Okay. Can you tell me the applications that this is useful for? Yeah, there are many different applications that XRD is good for. And one that I've faced uh, recently with several customers is the identification of uh, scale and corrosion residues. Now that's interesting because I know that uh, NDT is used often for corrosion uh, testing. How are you using uh, XRD for corrosion testing? Yeah, so you have uh, operators uh, with uh, boilers and pipes. Yep. Uh, they do need to control the scale and corrosion on their uh, material in order to optimize their process. Sure. So, for example, if, you, if they don't um, control that, then it uh, ends up being a lot of uh, maintenance costs and uh, downtime, downtime for repair. It's, that's very neat because I don't think of that as a, a standard application. Um, so that's fantastic. Um, so, for example, uh, scale buildup will uh, restrict the flow right. in this operation, or and corrosion will um, weaken the pipes and boilers' uh, metallic parts. So, are you taking water samples, or how are you measuring that that corrosion breakdown? You don't measure the liquid; you okay. just measure the. Uh, solid form, which is usually a small powder, okay. uh, very small quantities that you can put on the XRD analyzer and mm -hmm. then know uh, what chemical form is this ion powder from. Okay. And by knowing the chemical form, you will know how to uh, correct the issue either by treat, treat it chemically, mechanically, or by uh, changing something in your process to avoid this formation. Very good. So, um, how is Olympus supporting our customers with um, this type of application? Yes, yeah, so nowadays uh, customers, uh, such customers would either um, not use XRD, yeah. um, and this may limit a bit their uh, uh, effective uh, solution to treat uh, corrosion in scale, okay. or they do use XRD, but they send sample to an outside lab. Okay. And we can offer a solution which is affordable, uh, easy to use, and compact, okay. so that they can bring it on site uh, to to look at the corrosion uh, and scale identification. Sure, absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us today. That was uh, I learned something today. It's fantastic. And thank you all for joining our Ask the Expert video. Uh, if you have a question, visit our social media channels uh, and ask away. And uh, visit olympus-ims.com for more information about XRF and XRD. Thank you.